And joining me now is Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence from the 14th Congressional District. Welcome, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Good You've to enjoyed see your time on Mackinac so far? Absolutely, it's always great to be trapped on the island with, <laughs> with leaders throughout the region. <laughs> so I'm sure they're asking you about your first months now in yes. Washington. Describe what it has been like for you. It has been an amazing experience. Uh, I still walk the halls of Congress and get that sense of awe. Um, really debating issues that have an impact on our environment, on the quality of life, education, uh, our roads, uh, our veterans. It is uh, issues like human trafficking. It is really have been um, just a solidifying um, experience to say that our government does matter. It does matter what what kind of laws we put in place and how we fund issues. And I'm there for a reason, and, and I, I'm, I'm encouraged every day. It does matter. People would say, but is it is it working? Are they frustrated with the system? It is a different system, I will tell you that. Um, it, But it's one that I'm so committed of working through. Mm -hmm. um, I was a mayor, so you know I'm used to getting things done, and now I'm I'm in a position now where I have to message and I have to work and, and, and reach across the aisle and really study the issues so that I can, um, so I can advocate and I can message to try to address the needs of our community. And on a national level, the community policing issue is a national uh, uh, issue. And here I am uh, sitting there, rep a representative of the 14th District, but as a part of the body that must fix this issue in the country. So it is, um, it's one that you, I just can't allow myself to get frustrated because it's too much work to do. And so I constantly stay engaged and work hard to find that place where I can engage and make a difference. Much has been made of the fact that the congressional delegation here now is new, that there has been a lot of turnover in, in Michigan. What are you able to do, or what are some of the issues that you would like to take on Michigan's behalf? to Washington and try to get some things done? Well, we agree on uh, several issues as a delegation, the Democrats and the Republicans. Protecting our water, our fresh water, is an is, is a issue that we all agree on. Investing in our roads and infrastructure, absolutely. The Highway Trust Fund, not just refunding it, but increasing the funding. Um, education, um, protecting our veterans. That is one that we in Michigan are not doing the best job and allocating funds to our, of all the states, we are one of the lowest in allocating funds to our veterans. So collaboratively as a delegation, those are issues that are bipartisan, issues that we have agreed to work on. Our manufacturing in, um, industry and trade is something that we agree on. And so we're working hard on those issues. In terms of transportation, Congress just kind of kicked the can down the road with a little yes. bit of an extension, um, yes. which can be frustrating for people, and especially Michigan, who's waiting for a lot of those federal dollars yes. to get some yes. work done. When can they expect maybe not just a temporary fix, but something a little bit more permanent? That's what we're fighting for now. We're fighting for Congress, and, and we did make a deal. We said that if we do a temporary uh, ex, ex, uh, extension, that it would only be on the promise of sitting down and really doing a comprehensive, long-term investment in our infrastructure. And it can't just be patching our roads. It has to be the total reconstruction of our roads and our bridges. And now we know our railways. Uh, so many people don't include that. We must make that investment. Here up at, at the conference, so many people are talking about the momentum that Michigan has and the fact that we're moving, we're growing forward, we're finally shrinking some numbers in terms of unemployment that we need to be doing and we're trying to get more businesses to grow, that the Detroit is finally moving in, in, a, in a positive direction. What is the perception of people in Washington when you come up and you say, I'm representing Michigan? What do they ask you about the state and our region? People. Detroit is beloved. Uh, it's interesting because people are like, how are they doing? Are you guys doing better? And people who visit, they're just amazed. They said, oh my goodness, and especially if they have visited before, they said, it is amazing the turnaround that's happening in Detroit and that they're encouraged that we went through a bankruptcy and we're still standing and we are, we're making momentum. So, because we're the auto industry of the world and, and so many people feel connected to us, 
people really care and they're excited about our future. All right, Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence, thanks so much for joining me. Enjoy Thank the rest you. of your time on Mackinac. Oh, I will. I hope the sun keeps shining. It's beautiful. I know it. <laughs>